I'm just applying the final color of the paint on the aft deck here. And I wanted to get this, uh, the color on there before I put the, uh, there's a trim piece that goes here on both the uh, port and starboard side. So I wanted to get the deck painted before I put those trim pieces in there. So I'm using Total Boat's wet edge for this. Now earlier I had used the Total Boat's Total Tread on the foredeck, which has a non-skid surface to it. Uh, fortunately, they make both the non-skid and the, the wet edge in the same color, which is sand beige. So uh, that's what I'm using. Uh, it's a little bit of a traditional color for um, this type of a boat. Now, once I get this painted and these trim pieces made, I'm also going to be working on the covering boards uh, for the aft part of the boat and the shear and a few uh, bright finished trim pieces for the inside of the boat. So all of that's coming up on this episode of The Art of Boat Building. So I had mentioned that there's a couple of trim pieces that go against the frames on the aft deck. And they're shown here on sheet five where it shows that there's a half inch cedar plank that goes right here to cover up those frames. The other thing that this uh, drawing here shows us is the covering boards that are uh, 7 16 mahogany. And on the case of what I'm doing, I'll use uh, walnut or white oak and it starts at frame 11. So that covering board is right here. So that's another piece of trim that we're going to need to work on. In addition to these pieces, we can see here on sheet six where we're looking at the uh, four bulkhead that there's a piece of trim that runs across the bottom of that uh, deck beam. In addition, on the rear bulkhead, we can see there's a piece of trim that runs here along the seat. Now, in addition to those trim pieces, we also need to resolve what I'm going to do with the shear on the uh, fore part of the boat. And I talked about that in uh, season two, episode 23, about how I've decided to change the uh, design of the shear. So I, I invite you to go back and look at that to uh, see what my thinking was on how I'm going to change that. So the first order of business is we're going to get those small cedar boards put on the aft side. So to get started with covering boards, I'm going to use the uh, seat templates that I had used in the last episode and kind of get it in here. It's actually pretty close to the curve. I'm going to use my carpenter's pencil then to give it a, to get the general idea of what that shape should be. and also mark it on the bottom side. OK, 
Okay, so I'll cut this out and then uh, make another template for the front. So what I've done here in order to determine uh, how wide of a piece of material I need, I have found the center of this pattern, and the pattern is just a, sh a shade over eight feet. So this is right about four foot. And what I've done is I've lined up a straight edge with the two, those two points, and then I'm going to measure out here how far that is, and it says four inches. So if I make a four and a half to five inch board, uh, then I would have uh, plenty of material to cut that out. Uh, I don't have an eight foot board, so I'm gonna have to um, put a scarf joint in the middle of it. So what I'm gonna do now is to go through my stock, see if I can find a nice piece of walnut that I can get uh, all four pieces out of, two on the port and two on the starboard side. I discovered something new, that if I cut a groove in the top and the bottom edge of the board, but then when I resawed it, it tended to want to make that saw blade track in those grooves, making it a lot quicker to resaw it.
So I'm gonna let the glue cure overnight on those scarf joints. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take and uh, work on the uh, shear up here where the tow rail goes. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna put this 1 8 inch piece of trim along the edge of the deck plywood. And then I've got a piece of uh, 5 16 by 3 quarters, which is what the plans call for, for a tow rail that'll fit on top of there like so. So the first thing that I need to do is to cut some strips that are 1 8 of an inch wide. This small mini plane is perfect for trimming off this uh, strip of walnut here. I bought uh, this at Harbor Freight. It actually came in a set of three for like $16, but they just really work perfect uh, for this application here. Uh, gets it nice and flush with the deck so that that tow rail will fit on there very nicely. Well, now that I've uh, put these here for more than 24 hours. I'm going to see how it came out. Looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do here is take my covering board pattern, put it on here. And I'm going to mark out the inside curve here, which I know is pretty close. Cut that, and then I'll uh, put it on the boat and do some uh, final trimming. Uh, it looks really close. You can see there's a few lumps here and there. I'm going to use a yellow pencil instead of a white one so I can tell the difference. As long as I can see it on there, okay. And mark these high spots.
now that I've got that all fitted and in there tight, I've got it clamped down. Um, I'm going to mark the bottom side here flush with the um, uh, shear strike here. And then once I trim that off, then I'm going to subtract the same amount that is subtracted in the front where I have those uh, little trim boards attached. Uh, I had earlier used a yellow pencil and I found out that it was uh, almost as difficult to see as just a regular pencil, so I've switched back to my white one. So I'll mark this. Get that saw on. Well, now I've got uh, it all clamped in place, and you can see it's um, nice and flush with the planking. So what I'm going to do is to take my uh, dividers here, and I put my white pencil in there, and I'm going to take this, set it so that it's the width of what this is, this small um, trim I put on there, and then I'm going to skin along here and mark that all the way down. Well, that fits pretty good. I'm happy with that. I like the, the little reveal that it uh, creates. Uh, so now that I've got this one done, I'll do the very same thing over on the starboard side. Well, now that I've got the uh, starboard side done, I think what I'm going to do is, before I fasten these down, I'm going to put some, um, seal the bottom of them. The plans call for this piece of trim to be 7 16 inches uh, thick and one inch um, in uh, thick width. 
Uh, so anyway, you can see that this deck has a bit of a camber to it. So I've got a um, one and a half inch uh, piece of walnut on here. So what I'm going to do now is mark this camber on here, cut that out. And then I'll use that as a guide to uh, cut the other side um, so that I have one inch. Now, as I'd mentioned before, that I'm um, going to seal the back side of the, um, these pieces. And I'm using um, Total Boat Lust. And one of the things about when you're doing uh, this on bare wood, you need to put, um, to, you need to reduce the material by 50%. So that's uh, a one-to-one -one part. The reason for that is so that the, it will really penetrate the wood nicely. And you need to do at least two, maybe three coats um, to get that to, um, to seal properly. So you can see I've got one coat of uh, varnish on the front and back side of all of the walnut trim. And I've got a coat of primer and one coat of topside paint on the cedar pieces that go on the uh, starboard and port side of the, above the aft deck. So I would like to get at least two more coats of lust varnish on the uh, trim pieces before I install them. So we're running out of time for this week in order to get all of that done. So we'll have to do that in the next episode. So as always, I thank you for watching. And remember, if you're going to make it, make it beautiful. So I'll see you the next time on the Otter Boat Building. <music>